In this video, you're going to learn how to configure a secure IPsec VPN connection between two locations. With a FortiGate at each location properly configured, both locations' users will be able to securely access local addresses on the other location's internal network, without opening either network to wider access from the internet. For the purposes of this recipe, the two locations will be known as Headquarters and Branch. First, configure the Headquarters VPN settings. Go to VPN IPsec Auto Key and select Create New Phase 1. Enter an appropriate name and the Remote Gateway IP address, which is the internet-facing IP address of the branch FortiGate. Select WAN1 for the local interface and enter your authentication key. Now select Create Phase 2. Enter a name, select your Phase 1 from the drop-down list, and open the Advanced Options below. Specify the Headquarters Local Subnet as the source, and the Branch's Local Subnet as the destination. Now go to the list of firewall addresses and create two new entries. The first is the Local LAN address, with the HQ's Local Subnet and a Local Port Interface. The second is the Remote LAN address, with the branch's local subnet and the internet-facing interface. Lastly, go to the policy list and create a VPN security policy. For the local and outgoing interfaces, select the local and internet-facing interfaces you specified in the addresses. For the local and remote protected subnet, select the address entries you created. Then choose the Use an existing VPN tunnel at the bottom and select your HQ to branch phase 1 and allow traffic to be initiated from the remote site. Now, Repeat the same steps on your remote branch's FortiGate, reversing the entered IP addresses. Go to VPN IPsec Auto Key and create new Phase 1. Enter a name and the remote gateway IP address, the internet-facing IP address of the headquarters FortiGate. Select your internet-facing interface and enter the authentication key you created when configuring the HQ Phase 1. Now select Create Phase 2. Enter the name, select your Phase 1 from the drop-down list, and under the Advanced Options, specify the branch's local subnet as the source, and the HQ's local subnet as the destination. Now go to the list of firewall addresses and create two new entries. The first is the Local LAN address, with the branch's local subnet and local port interface. The second is the remote LAN address, with the HQ's local subnet and the internet-facing interface. Finally, go to the policy list and create a VPN security policy. For the local and outgoing interfaces, select the local and internet-facing interfaces you specified in the addresses. For the local and remote protected subnet, select the addresses that you created. Then choose the Use an Existing VPN Tunnel at the bottom and select your Branch to HQ Phase 1 and allow traffic to be initiated from the remote site. To see the results, go to VPN IPsec Monitor to verify that the VPN tunnel is up. A user on either network should be able to connect to any of the other network's internal addresses. As always, from either FortiGate, you could see the results in the forward traffic log. Thank you for watching. If you need further details, you can visit docs.fortinet.com at any time to access Fortinet's complete documentation library.